What's good, YouTube? Silver Hyena back again with another video. This time, ah, here they are. The Crazy Art Premium Broadline Markers. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to try these out. Look at that. So far, the only place I've ever actually seen these was at the, um, it was my local Walmart in their back to school section, my guess. Crazy Art is trying to give the Crayola Signature some competition. And, for good measure, we're also going to try out these. Now, when I did the first half of this review where I did the Bic Intensity, yeah, the Bic Intensity, and the Crazy Art Color Sharp, I had used my Prismacolor Color Erase because I completely forgot all about these, so we're going to use them today. But first, it is time to unbox these and swatch. I guess we may as well swatch these too because we want to know what we are getting into. So, let's get to it. See, I'm planning ahead, and I still can't write. <laughs> I'd really like to know, have you guys seen these before? Have you even heard of them up until now? And if you have happened to have heard of these, how did you like them? <sighs> Jeez. Usually, a nice long nail there usually takes these off cleanly, but I guess they made these nail proof. Ah, there we go. Finally got it. I will not let the sticky tab win. Ah. Whoa, that, that is strong. Oh, jeez. So, I paid about $8 for this set of 40, it is 48, isn't it? Yes, 48 markers. And there's also a set about half this size that is, I think it was 5 or $6, I don't remember, it was in that range. Oh, wow. Oh wow, just look at that. They're so bright, so cheerful. Well, we better get to testing out these bad boys. Oh my gosh. They roll all over. Okay, so these are the Crazy Art Premium swatches. They swatch down really well overall for single layer. Now then, this is White Recollections cardstock, by the way, so it's... It's decently thick to hold some pen and ink, but it's 
not as sturdy as, say, your marker papers. Okay, so it didn't really bleed through, but when I was doing a test blend, not sure if you can see, ah, uh, yeah, there, it, it started to chew up this paper, so it makes me a little bit nervous. As for the markers themselves, I mean, yeah, the, the colors are definitely bright and all. I'm looking to see if it's... I'm pretty sure these are water-based. Even though it doesn't directly say on the box. I mean, I've used alcohol-based markers on this kind of cardstock before. And while they bleed through, they don't chew up the paper like that. Alright, so the testing of the Crazy Art Premium is done. Now it's time to try these out. Now the tips, they are a little foggy. I'm gonna try sharpening them, but this is the black erasable, so let's hang on one second. Now, I usually don't trust colored erasers like this anymore, so I'm going to have a soft, wait a minute, this isn't my soft one, this is my hard one, but this is still a non-abrasive eraser, just in case. So let's try this out. Okay. Let's going on black, but I don't think that the leads are quite as good as the regular Crazy Art, but we're going to give them a chance. They do a race, but I want to check out. Hmm. Seems about the same. Might as well just use the erasers on these first until they give out, then move to that. Or if I've got large areas. But the fog is no big deal. Still, always keep my sharpener on hand. So I'm going to swatch out the rest of these. And then we will draw something with them. Okay, so that was the color erase, and well, there is still some pigment behind. Overall, it's not bad. I think that the Prismacolor color erase pencils are better, but if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, the these will work in a pinch. Uh, based off of this test alone, I would definitely give them at least a 7, maybe 7 might be a little bit too high, eh, a solid 6 out of 10 I'd say because, like I said, the Prisma colors do perform better. However, the test ain't over yet. Now, we need to draw something. <laughs> We're going back to the B Creative, the B marker paper. And I've customized it. This is one of the stickers that I got off of Wish. So, if you've watched my previous video, you'll recognize this guy. But, 
time to fill out that second page and we're gonna see how well the B paper takes this. But, precautions! This paper pad is small enough that I can actually use it. Jeez, ah, my hair really does get everywhere. Ew! Jeez! Ah, Ew! I am so sorry you all had to witness that. Now, what to draw? We've got so many bright colors. We do have some neutrals, but I've had an idea kicking around inside of my head that I really, really want to put down the paper. What's that idea? Just a minute. I noticed that as I worked on the line art, when I used the colored eraser that came on the pencil, that the eraser itself left some colored residue. This is why I don't trust colored erasers. I thought you all should be aware of that. Other than that, they seem to work just hunky-dory. Okay, so we've got our finished line art here. Now, I don't quite think these performed on this smooth paper as well as the Prismacolor color erase pencils did, but as you can see, I mean, like, they, they did okay. Not the greatest, not the worst. Definitely usable and a very budget-friendly option. Alright, now comes the fun part, we get to select our colors. want that for testing out some blend options. Add a nice deep dark. I think that to start I'm just gonna stick with three and see how that goes. Then for the stem And the leaves. Don't want to pull out too many of these at a time because they do like to roll all over the place. Alright, I'm both excited and nervous. But we've got our protector thing here and this is marker paper so hopefully it'll hold up. Now usually I like to ink before moving on to the markers, but we're experimenting today. We are just gonna dive right in with the markers.
the markers were a fun challenge, especially since they're so thick and broad. Since they're water-based, I was trying to go easy with the layers and just leave spaces to fill out in the darker colors. Overall, it worked pretty well with minimal pilling. I'd probably rate these a 6.5 out of 10, mainly because these try to tear up marker paper when you try to blend. But the colors are nice, and they are very budget friendly. With these, you really gotta take the good with the bad. All right, so this is the end result, and I must say that they're, uh, I, I would definitely say they're okay, not absolutely spectacular must own, but definitely okay. I mean, for $8, and 48 markers I mean they I, I was hoping they would perform better but it wasn't completely horrendous I'm never buying this brand again overall I, I'm not disappointed I had purchased them let me put it that way I enjoyed doing this I I had a lot of fun creating this. I actually used the reference photo that I took with my cell phone of a rose and from uh, one of the uh, nearby parks. Of course it's not blue, I just really wanted to turn it blue because when swatching out the markers there was just so many pretty blues and I'm like, yep, I know what I want to do. So, if you have used these markers yourself, I really want to know. I want to know what your thoughts on them are. I, I definitely think I prefer alcohol markers overall because even though this is marker paper and this is high-end marker paper, it's still uh, pilled a tiny bit and I think that's just because these are water-based markers, not alcohol-based markers. Now then, I could be totally wrong. If you have any information that I might want to know, 
please, please, please post in the comments. I'm always eager to learn more. Let's add one more sparkle. Why not? Sorry, this was a little bit of an impulse thing. I thought I was done. I thought I was done. <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't going to have 15 endings like the one before it. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. There we go. White gel pen. Gotta love it. Alright. Thought I would show you the back there. This tiny bit of bleed through. Didn't really bleed through all that much, but you can definitely... Here. Let's see. Is there anywhere you can really... Unfortunately, you guys can't feel that, but it definitely feels different than the alcohol-based markers. However, I, I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm probably not going to buy them again. I will definitely use these since I have them, but my curiosity has been satisfied. And like I said, if you guys find these, decide to pick them up. Let me know how all that goes. I would love to hear it. Anyways, before this gets any longer, this is Silver Hyena signing off, and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!